21,153 per week. That's about 3,021 per day. Coming out to about 126 vehicles every single hour are stolen from hardworking, law-abiding citizens, mostly law-abiding citizens, across the United States. 126 every single hour. And unfortunately, the rate at which technology continues to advance is just making stealing these vehicles easier and easier. I finally found a way to protect mine. So guys, aloha ne komo mai to this little piece of paradise we call it the Lone Star Hawaiian Garage on this beautiful weekend for a topic that's a little bit near and dear to my heart, also known as auto theft. In June of 2022, the NICB, the National Insurance Crime Bureau, NICB, published a Hot Wheels report, not the cool Hot Wheels, a bad Hot Wheels. The top 10 vehicles stolen across the US at that point in 2022 and number one topping the charts, the best, the Chevrolet Silverado. Damn it. So what we have here are two beautiful products of General Motors called the Chevrolet Silverado. On the left here is actually the first full-size pickup truck I ever purchased. This is a 2007. Now the suspension on this truck being far from stock is coincidentally worth more than the entire truck itself. So as you can imagine, I wanna keep this thing safe as possible and not in the hands of a thief. On the right side is also a very valuable vehicle, 2020 Silverado LT Trail Boss. This thing is also uh, far from stock. There is a significant amount of investment in both of these trucks, and I would like to keep them in my ownership, if you catch my drift. We've actually partnered up with a company today that has a product that's going to do just that, and they call it Carlock. Carlock, it's genius. You know, continued advancements in technology are pretty cool, very convenient, and make life kind of really easy a lot of the times. And a lot of it comes with this little guy. This is a key fob. If you have a key fob on you, you walk up to your vehicle, most vehicles can sense it and will either unlock the door for you or you have a button like the Silverado does. It makes life so convenient and so easy. Even the 2007 Silverado has a sensor built into the key that if someone were to have a similar key cut, stick it in there, start the truck, it'll immediately shut itself off if it doesn't sense the sensor that's been programmed with the truck. However, these advancements in technology open up opportunity for bad people. It's getting easier and easier to steal these vehicles. So let's take this first example. You have this hooded and walking up to the car, messing with the door lock. A car drives down the street, they tuck up in front of the car, hiding from the vehicle driving down the street and within a few seconds, go right back, eventually gain entry to the car through the door lock, whether they punch the lock or pick the lock, they get the car open and get inside. Once they're inside, this is what's actually pretty dang alarming. Within minutes, they have the ability to plug into the OBD2 port, reprogram or program a virgin key, and the car starts up and drives away as if it's been their car the entire time. And these guys just drive away. And what is essentially a $45,000, $50,000 asset, this second example, blew my mind. I didn't think this was a thing, but apparently it is. They have what they call a relay attack. They take an antenna or extender and it communicates with that second person sitting in the driver's seat and the car thinks that the key fob is in fact right there. Starts right up, drives away, no alarm, no issue. These two gentlemen drive off with what is essentially a fifty to $60,000 asset. That would take a normal person three to five years of honest hard work to purchase and within five minutes, idiots have the ability to start that valuable asset up and drive it right away. It's infuriating. At my actual job, my boss owned a 2020 GMC Sierra, the same exact model as we have here with the Silverado. They decided to take a quick stop at a shopping mall. The truck was gone when they got out. They found out what has been happening in that parking lot. You have thieves sitting in their vehicles waiting for unsuspecting victims. So what happened was they simply arrived at their destination, hit lock on their key fob. During that signal transmission, sitting close was able to interrupt that signal, steal the signal, copy and relay that signal to the truck. They opened the door, they drove away. But hey, it had OnStar. It had tracking with OnStar. Well, unfortunately, guess what they found in the parking lot in the spot where the truck used to be sitting was the OnStar antenna. They ripped it out of the truck, left it on the ground, and drove away in a $60,000 asset. This stuff happens every single day. In fact, 21,153 times every single week. You would think those numbers add up, and they do. They actually add up to just shy of $10 billion. 
dollars. The average insurance carrier within the last year, rates have gone up 10% on average but comprehensive pieces of it have gone up even more. Now the Carlock system is a simple and straightforward device. It plugs directly into your OBD2 port and it will program itself. All you have to do is download the application and you're all set to go. Now, regardless of all the functionalities of this device, this is the reason we've installed it on the Makaha Runner. Say we've pulled up to a shopping mall in a sketchy parking lot. Seemingly, that would have locked our vehicle and given us the peace of mind that we need that we'll come back to, in fact, find our valuable asset where we left it. Someone might be walking by and catch a glimpse of that King coilover shock and think to themselves, hey, that looks valuable. I would like to have that. Now, here's where my peace of mind is coming. I simply have our car lock app. All you have to do is hit that lock button and we're now secured. What that means, no matter if I'm 50 yards away or literally on the other side of the world, if someone were to open that door, break that window, hit the truck, start the truck, move the truck from where it's currently at on a tow truck, I would immediately be notified on my phone via the application. That gives me the peace of mind. Say they're an idiot, which there are a lot of them around, and they don't unplug the device, guess what? I get to see exactly where they are the entire time because that's a GPS tracker. Say they are not an idiot and they remove the device and throw it out the window. Immediately upon them removing that device, I will have an incredibly loud alarm going off on my phone, which should give me the amount of time I need to either call the authorities or take care of it with the assets we have laying around the house, usually within arm's length. Yeah, don't steal from Texans. It's a bad idea. They enjoy opportunities to utilize their equipment. So just for an example here, showcasing what happens, say I get a copy of the key or I have a pick and I pick this lock right here to gain entry to my truck. So what's gonna happen is the truck's gonna detect that vibration that it sends when someone opened your door. It detects the vibration and lets you know. Now the truck is still locked on the application. I'm gonna go ahead and start this guy up. Eight seconds. That was an eight second delay from the time I started the truck, time it notified me on my phone. However, that was obviously after it detected the vibration of the door. But last but not least, let's go ahead and move this thing, see what happens. So as you can see from the app, it has notified me that that little circle which the truck was locked in, we have now left. And there is no foolproof plan or device to keep your truck 100% secure. If the thief wants it enough, there's a chance that they will get it. However, little things like this will give you peace of mind and deter and give you the opportunity to win your valuable asset that you've worked so dang hard for back in your possession. I'm really excited to have this thing. Now, when it is actually time to operate your truck, all you simply do is hit that button You've now unlocked it and it knows you're in your own truck. Now our Carlock device has a ton of functionality outside of just our normal theft protection. Say that you have a teen at home that's a new driver. You have the ability to know exactly where that truck is at all times. On top of that, Carlock has the functionality to detect harsh driving. So if we... Or we slam on the brakes. If you have those functions enabled, you will get a notification to your phone that your truck is experiencing harsh driving. I'm really happy that this did not exist when I was a teenager. So harsh driving, 
vibration, monitor circle size, and you can set up multiple profiles as well. So we have obviously the Makaha Runner. Now I've had my car like device for about three and a half weeks. What I've noticed, it takes about 24 hours to fully program itself once you plug it in. And what it has the ability to do once it's locked, if it detects any unusual vibrations, they're using power tools to access your vehicle, they break a window, they yank on your door, or someone bangs into your door with their own vehicle. Car lock will actually send you a notification to your phone if your vehicle is started. You get a very loud alarm sound on your phone. And last but not least, given thieves do have somewhat of a brain in them, most of them will notice that something's plugged into your OBD2 port, especially if that OBD2 port's pretty visible from that driver's seat. So what CarLock actually supplies as well, you can plug in this low profile extension cord, which is pretty hard to see, and tuck that guy up, up underneath the dash. They do also sell an inline option where you can actually hide this device wherever you want. You just tap into power, and you're all set to go. All right, just to test this thing out, we have an event tonight, Monster Jam. And because we did not want to pay $180 for parking, we decided to park in this sketchy lot. So, this is gonna help. All right guys, we're in the middle of the event, as you can clearly see, but um, just to make sure that we're still feeling good about where we parked, and I can see exactly where that truck continues to sit. It is currently locked. So if anybody bumps into it, anybody opens that door, starts the truck up, and tries to drive away, I'm calling the authorities. Peace of mind right here while we're enjoying ourselves at AT&T Stadium at Monster Jam. Thanks a lot, Carlock. Feel good about this. So from GPS tracking capabilities to route tracking to team driving monitoring to peace of mind by knowing that you'll be notified if your vehicle has sensing that it's being broken into, that it's being stolen, that it's being towed away. This is peace of mind for me. I think it's totally worth the cost of the device. Now, just for you guys, CarLock is giving you a discount, 10% off by using this code right here, L-O-N-H-A-W-10, Lone How 10. Don't ask, they said the name of the code, but use this code right here. They sell exclusively via Amazon. There's a link in the description below. You can get your own CarLock system. I've been super happy with mine. This truck that I've worked so hard on, I know exactly where it is at all times and that it's safe. So I'll say thank you guys for joining me for this shorter video, but hopefully providing a little bit of an option for some peace of mind. Now, if you haven't joined the Lone Star Hawaiian family just yet, scroll down, hit the subscribe button below. And while you're down there, if you don't mind, that like button, there's a lot for this channel. So much appreciated. We'll see you guys in a few days for our next video where we are right back in the driver's seat of our Makaha Runner because we got some big Willwood brakes going in on the front end of this pre-runner project. And we're gonna test out to see if they're actually that much better than stock brakes. How we hope, aloha. Precision parking happening right now. Happening live. Happening live. Ladies and gentlemen, we call them the one-time wonder. Three, two, one. Nailed it. Bye.